Hello loves, a send out here coming at you with another video and in this video we are going to break down the full Olaplex line, how you should use it, when you should use it, or if you should use it all together. If you have had any of these questions about Olaplex or if you just want to understand each product, then make sure you keep on watching it. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up. So your crown doesn't fall. Remember, your royalty. And before we get started, make sure you subscribe here to my channel. So that way, you notify every time I post another video because you know what's going on. We have three key words that we are going to pay attention to. So get your notebooks out. Treat, maintain, and protect. Those are your main purposes of caring for your hair and coming from a professional cosmetologist, scientist, and herbalist, I'm telling you that this process is the easiest way for you to retain length regardless of your, of your texture, race, anything from curly to wavy to straight and all the variations in between all of the products are going to be broken down into three categories that first category treat will be represented by olaplex zero olaplex three and olaplex eight but remember these are not like you know little ingredients that you just add to your own little mixture at home there's a specific way you need to use them so watch to the end so you can figure it out maintain now this is going to be Olaplex 4C, Olaplex 4, and Olaplex number 5. And Protect is going to be Olaplex number 6, 7, and 9. If you want to know exactly what Olaplex is on the molecular level and all of that stuff when I'm really, really geeking out, I made a video right here. And in my opinion, you know, I'm, it's my opinion. I feel like it's one of the most detailed videos on Olaplex on YouTube. So go check this video out and then come back here. Uh, wait, go ahead. How do we use Olaplex? Across social media, there are so many different videos, so many different hacks, but I'm going to say this. I think that the one product on the market that you should never hack, that you should never mix any other product with is Olaplex, okay? And that is simply because Olaplex is not a protein. Olaplex is a molecule. Again, check these videos and watch my entire playlist on Olaplex where I explain everything on a scientific level. So with Olaplex Zero, Olaplex Zero is a consumer version of Olaplex number one. How this was the first product that they released and how number three was the product that they had in conjunction with that, okay? But this is a version that is only really recommended that a professional cosmetologist uses because just too much of this or too little can change the entire formulation of your chemical service that you are going for or a little bit too much or not the right amount really won't do anything if you're just giving yourself a Olaplex one treatment as a replacement for that a home version a at home version one that is already mixed with the proper ratios is Olaplex zero okay Olaplex zero is supposed to be completely saturating the hair but it is supposed to be added to dry hair only and this is because the main purpose of Olaplex's molecule is to go within the cuticle so Olaplex's molecule wants to be the one that breaks that cuticle and breaks not breaks the cuticle breaks that hydrogen bond but if the hydrogen bond is already broken by other products that means that most likely there's something already blocking the cuticle which leads me to my next point before we hop into this video of course there are going to be naysayers and most people that say that they don't like Olaplex or Olaplex didn't work for them are people who had layers and layers and layers of product on top of the hair shaft before they use Olaplex. If you are a person who has um, a whole bunch of product buildup and things of that nature on the hair shad, you do need to use a clarifying shampoo before you start Olaplex treatments because if your hair is layered with coconut oils and heavy butters and doing the lock method and different things like that, then it's going to be a little harder for Olaplex's molecule to penetrate, especially if you being a mixologist at home, okay? Stop mixing stuff. 
I have been working with Olaplex for over 17 years and today I am so excited to bring you this coupon code. So when you use the coupon code underscore I am send out underscore you get a free Olaplex zero and Olaplex three. All you have to do is add at least $50 worth of product to the cart, then go ahead and add the $16 kit to the cart that includes a zero and Olaplex three. And then once you put that code in underscore I am send out underscore you get that Olaplex kit for free on me. So check the links in the description box below and I got you always. Once you put your Olaplex zero on your support supposed to work it in to the hair and you can get like you're not supposed to be working it into the roots but because Olaplex is a complex molecule it is okay it's not going to block the cuticle it won't block the follicle for Olaplex number three without rinsing out Olaplex zero right after those 10 minutes and the thing is your hair only absorbs 35% of the product that you put on it so no matter how long you use or how long you leave a product on if you go past the allotted time that is on the label the molecule is only going to do what it was built to do remember to always follow the allotted time so you're having Olaplex zero on for 10 minutes and then before you rinse it out you're going to then go ahead and apply Olaplex 3 to the hair shaft remember if you are a person even though Olaplex is saying okay you want to do it on dry hair even though Olaplex is saying they want you to do it on dry hair, remember the creators of Olaplex are not people who are used to putting layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers, and layers of product on the hair, not washing the hair for days at a time or weeks at a time. That's not really something that they allotted for whenever they were coming up with this formulation. So even though it says, okay, you do it on dry hair that hasn't been shampooed, if you are a person who hasn't shampooed their hair in like six months or a person who hasn't and yes people are out there like that or you're a person who just simply hasn't shampooed their hair in a certain amount of time it is good for you to go ahead and wait until your next wash day so no you're not going to wash your hair blow dry it and then use Olaplex Zero you're gonna wait right wait until you go ahead wash your hair that day style it do whatever you're gonna do and then that following wash day let that be the day that you use Olaplex zero but don't try to like just rush it you have to plan things out all right remember it's a part of the pattern so once you've applied that Olaplex three you're also going to leave that Olaplex three on for an additional 10 minutes after you use the Olaplex three you're going to rinse that out with hot water you want to make sure you're killing that myth of like oh don't rinse all of the product out leave a don't do that. Hair shaft is only going to absorb 35% after that is hydro fatigue. So after you rinse out the three, you're going to shampoo and condition the hair. Olaplex number 4C. The reason that I love Olaplex, even though, yes, I talk to you guys about Kimra and stuff like that, and it's cool, right? But Kimra's not trying to compete with Olaplex's clarifier because they're two completely different things. Kimra is a great clarifier, but Olaplex clarifier is on a molecular level so it's going way way deeper than any other product that I've recommended to you guys in the past am I saying that those are bad no I'm not but what I'm saying is this one goes deeper because it is actually a molecule that is built by a scientist to go deep within the hair's cuticle and deep within the hair's follicle to break up any type of fatty deposits any type of product buildup excess sebum excess yeast okay and excess bacteria anything that can be on the scalp this product is going to help you get the job done it's not like regular shampoos that you would use right where you just go ahead shampoo the hair real quick rinse it off no with olaplex number no. 4c what you're gonna do you'll take you'll shampoo your hair as hot as you can take it i don't mean like it has to be hot like you boil a chicken like a comfortable temperature boo just like when you shower you 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 see what temperature make you feel good then pick that one that's what i mean 
People ask me how many times are you supposed to be using Olaplex 4C on the hair. Now remember it's all about patterns and routines. We have to remember that when we are getting hair products it's not oh hair product first and then routine second. It's routine first and then the hair product is what you go find to help you along that routine. So we're not altering the products and things of that nature to fit the routine and things of that nature. You set a plan and then you go out and find tools to help you accomplish your goals. You're going to use Olaplex 4C and this is a recommendation directly from Olaplex. It's not a shampoo that you're going to be using like every day. You use it every one to two weeks but you're not using the clarifying shampoo every time you wash your hair like every single day. Because you want to remember that this is a molecule whose job is to go in there and break up the yeast and bacteria so if you're using it too much and Olaplex does its job getting rid of all the bad yeast and bad bacteria what you will then cause is other problems to happen because then you'll have a bunch of good bacteria that you're removing for no reason so remember to have balance and remember that this is a tool a clarifying tool all right so you can alternate between Olaplex 4C and Olaplex 4 which is what I do and as you can see all of the products are right here so you can alternate between Olaplex 4C and Olaplex 4, right? So normally I'll do one wash day Olaplex 4 and one wash day Olaplex 4C, but I'm never doing Olaplex 4C every single wash day. And then if I wash my hair more than once a week, then I'm going to be using Olaplex number four. Also, if you guys have in the past been doing the rice water thing, or we're not even going into that, like any other team natural hacks that causes any type of follicle blockage, and like blocking your scalp and things of that nature, then you using Olaplex 4C will be something amazing because what Olaplex 4C is going to do is remove anything that can be blocking the follicle. It is a molecule that is going to seek and destroy everything Thing that is not meant to be there but again I keep stressing that it is a molecule because when something is a complex molecule what it is done it is really engineered to handle a certain purpose it's not just going in there breaking stuff right so you have to make sure that you're using that tool for what it is formulated to be used for all right and then next up we have Olaplex P now Olaplex P Olaplex 4P I'm sorry Olaplex 4P is their purple shampoo their purple shampoo is pretty dope right one thing I do want to address there is something that's been going around um and we're talking about Olaplex 4 which is a regular shampoo it's amazing and it has the same exact molecule that Olaplex 1 has right but the not necessarily argument thing going around people are like oh well you don't have to wash your hair you only have to wash your scalp this is the thing saying that you only have to wash your hair I mean your scalp and you don't have to wash the rest of your hair is like saying you only got to brush your teeth and wash your face and wash your shoulders and just let the dirt and the soap run down the rest of your body and everything else because all you really got to wash is your face no that's not true you just like the follicle can get blocked the cuticle can get blocked and if the cuticle is blocked that means that the cuticle is full and the fuller the cuticle gets the harder it is for the follicle to be able to swell and unswell then you run into things like hydro fatigue so many different types of hair shaft disorders so it is very important that your entire hair shaft is cleansed from roots to ends that is oh, like just just how we go like that's weird stop telling people that like that's the same thing as the you being like oh when you get in the shower you don't gotta wash your legs or your feet just let the water drip down y'all th that's how i know anybody who's telling you that all you gotta do is wash your scalp and then just let it drip down they don't wash their legs or their feet. They just let the soap drip down. They dusty. Don't share no socks with them. When Olaplex is saying focus on the scalp, when a shampoo says focus on the scalp, shampoos, yes, we're focusing on the scalp. We're breaking up fatty deposits and things of that nature. And then you guide the shampoo down the hair shaft and then rinse it out. You're not just washing the scalp and then just right there. Because guess what? Now you have an imbalance on the hair shaft because whether you're 
never actually doing anything your hair is still wet so it makes no sense like what are you doing your hair is still wet anyway so you have a mixture of the bacteria because now the bacteria that was on your scalp is now leaving your hair and the only way that the bacteria and the yeast that was on your scalp can leave the scalp is if it drips down the hair shaft so if you only wash your scalp and you don't wash your hair, that means everything that was on your scalp is now just living on your hair because you're not rinsing it off. Because remember, think about it. You, you wash her and then it drip from her down your hair. So you got to wash your scalp and your hair because whatever's up her going to be down her. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be just making up stuff as y'all go. 4P is for blonde, gray hair, or just hair that is light. And now you're going to apply the shampoo to the hair and let it sit for approximately one to three minutes. And for pretty intense toning, you'll leave it on for a full five minutes, right? To really, really tone the hair in a good way. And it's a really amazing toner. Olaplex number five, this is a regular conditioner. You're going to apply this conditioner from the mid shaft to the ends. And then you can let it sit for five minutes and then you're going to rinse out with cold water because cold water closes the cuticle now I want you to pay attention to how Olaplex is telling you to apply the conditioner from mid shaft to end mid shaft like let's say this was actually my hair right so mid shaft would be considered like about right here right here so mid shaft to ends mid shaft mid means halfway right so mid shaft this is the top of my hair shaft and this is the bottom of, well of the hair shaft and this is the bottom of the hair shaft so mid shaft will be like right in the middle so you guys this is coming directly from Olaplex. Conditioner does not belong on the scalp. Conditioner is meant to protect your ends. It's meant to protect your hair through your styling processes. But it is not made for the scalp. That's why they're telling you to apply the conditioner mid shaft to ends. So be really cautious of that. Most people ask, oh, well, do we use Olaplex number five and on Olaplex number eight? Do we use five and eight at the same time? The answer is no. You do not need to use a conditioner and a deep conditioner on the same day. You have to stop trying to make up words to go with what products already are because by law, Brands have to make the the usages and the titles and descriptions of their products as clear and visible as possible. So they're not using like any trick lingo whenever they put something on the bottle. One is a conditioner, which is standard, and one is a deep conditioner. So when you're feeling like your hair is just needing a little bit more moisture, let's say you go a whole month and your hair is really good, but towards the end of the month you start feeling like, oh my hair feels a little dry most likely that's around your skin cell turnover week because every 28 days your skin cells on your scalp die off and new ones come up and around your skin cell turnover week when those dead skin cells are just about to lift up your sebum level is kind of decreasing just a little bit right so your hair feels a little drier and this is when I do because it happens to me too and this is normally my skin cell turnover over week which is normally around like the 25th of each month right so during my skin cell turnover week what I'll do I'll use Olaplex 4C to help my body remove those dead skin cells because that's what's happening and then after I remove those dead skin cells of course my hair gonna want a little bit of moisture and stuff so I go ahead and follow up with Olaplex 8 I apply the Olaplex 8 mid shaft to ends I let it sit for about 10 minutes and then I rinse it out with cold water works every time truly the easiest way to retain length and the product is so very concentrated a little bit goes the longest way Olaplex number six. Olaplex number six is the bond smoother now I love oh I just love Olaplex so much because 
initially they had Olaplex 6 before they had Olaplex 9 and even though Olaplex 9 is great as a smoother and different things like that I still wanted something more like Olaplex 9. We were like Olaplex 6 is great but I still want something like a little extra that we can use fully completely if we are like heat training or flat ironing our hair or anything so Olaplex 9 is enough honey it is enough you actually don't need an additional heat protectant outside of Olaplex 9. I just do for myself because I've been doing hair for 17 years and I just need to spray something. Now you're just going to add a very very small amount of Olaplex 6 to your hair to help your hair's cuticle stay controlled all right because it's going to control frizz and help your hair retain the moisture that you've put into it on that top layer wherever the products are your leave-in conditioners and everything that you've used to prepare your hair for the styling the Olaplex 6 is going to make sure it stays there now when you if you are somebody who does blowouts all the time and stuff like that and you just want something to help you along smoothing it Olaplex 6 is amazing or if you are a person who has really really frizzy hair no matter what you do using Olaplex 6 and Olaplex 9 together is amazing but see most of the issues that people run into when they're using Olaplex you use two too much on every bottle of Olaplex back here it says to use a very small amount because the product is extremely concentrated and you have to believe them so the more product you use the more product you use over the allotted recommended amount the the less likely you are to get a good result so when you are using a professional grade product you cannot use and like double up and use too much and and I'm just being honest when you go and you buy a product that's like five dollars or whatever well like some two dollar shampoo from the dollar store or something like that it's not going to be that concentrated the majority of the formulation is going to be water right so that's why it's cheaper but whenever you are dealing with something that's a molecule on the molecular level you have to follow the directions and this is one of the main reasons why Olaplex was really reluctant at opening everything up because originally all we had is Olaplex uh, 1 and 3 and then they made shampoo and conditioner for us they wasn't giving it to y'all because they understood how important it is to pay attention to the science and to follow directions you guys we have to follow directions especially if you're going to be using Olaplex you cannot get coconut oil or or olive oil or almond oil even though I love almond oil you can't mix that in Olaplex and then get mad and say it don't work or you can't not wash your hair and then okay Olaplex 7. There's a lot of confusion with Olaplex 7. I use Olaplex 7 in two ways. The very first way that I use Olaplex number 7 is as a detangler, right? Whenever I have braids in my hair for long periods of time, like the braids that are in here, what I do, I add like just a tad bit of Olaplex 7 to my ends and then I'll go ahead and comb through from my ends up to my roots and then we are a-okay. We are all done with the detangler tangling process or I will add Olaplex um oh lord Olaplex 9 and then Olaplex 7 like a dose and when I say a dose of Olaplex this is what I mean here on the screen literally you'll just hold it upside down tap it one time on the top that is a dose if you go in it should not be a puddle of oil in your hand before you put it on your hair a little bit goes a long way I get people say like oh my hair is really long so a lot I need a lot of product when Olaplex first came out the majority of women that were using Olaplex had hair to their butts or longer I know this because I was in cosmetology school when Olaplex first came out so black women just started using Olaplex Olaplex has been out for years okay and women with hair to their butts have been using it for years it is highly concentrated a little bit goes a long way if you have the proper patterns and your hair is in a certain way it's very easy for you to use a product and one thing that a lot of people would say on my older videos is like oh why don't she keep combing the hair like that because combing the hair is the way that you that you allow the products to travel from roots to ends because your hair is a fiber. 
So combing your hair is enough to distribute the products from root to ends. You don't just put more product on because your hair is longer. No, you have to work the product in. That's why if you ever watch a coloring video of anybody coloring hair, you'll see them put the color in and then you see them going like this on the same piece of hair for a while. That's because you have to work the product into the cuticle and you have to drag the product down the hair shaft. That is why hairstylists are always combing the hair. That's why they're always going like this because we are pulling the product down. That's how you do it. But for the most part, most people are really confused. They think that all you have to do is just put the product on and then just let it sit there. And like, what's the products there is sitting on your hair. No, it's a tool. You just add a drop pull it down and keep it going. Olaplex number nine, their nourishing serum. Apply a half a pump from the mid shaft to ends. More for longer hair or coarser texture on damp hair. Number nine is an anti-tangle provides style memory heat protection for up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and 232 degrees Celsius protects against environmental pollutions and has a satin shine and another tip Olaplex 9 should only be used on wet hair why is that after reading the description we know that Olaplex is meant to protect the hair from heat styling and it is to help you set the hydrogen bond in a good way while mastering the molecule and protecting the bonds that are already in the hair shaft. I have something for you for sticking around until the end of this video or I'm probably gonna put this a couple times in the middle. I will. I'm gonna break this up and I'm gonna put it twice. If you use the code underscore I am send out underscore and you cannot forget those underscores okay. Once you add $50 or more to your cart, you have to do one more thing. Add this kit right here and you will get a free Olaplex Zero and Olaplex Three to sample and try out. Now again, I really, really think you should get Olaplex 4C for everybody, especially if you're starting out on your journey. Olaplex 4C, Olaplex 8, Olaplex 8 and whatever other product within this collection you think that you can use to help you through your journey. What you have once it's accumulated to $50 then again make sure you add this kit to the cart but you have to add it to the cart and then before you check out add the code underscore I am send out underscore and you will get that kit for free on me okay. I love you guys so very very much. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up so your crown doesn't fall. Remember your royalty.